Valley Giant Entertainment. That's right, baby. It's Polk. What's been a local? It's Latin hip hop at its finest, up close and personal. And I've got my baby in the house for the not knowers, Chrissy Fit. Okay, Chrissy. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we start. <laughs> Why did we just you... get so close? <laughs> because because we love each other. Because so you're famous much. now. You're super duper oh, famous gosh. with a billion followers, and I'm so proud to be your friend. So I'm like, I really am like sincerely from the bottom of my heart, a little <laughs> nervous. And we're like, I mean, you've slept on my floor. Uh, yeah. I mean, we've we've been through so I've much been together. I've with the kitties. We've played. We've gone to the pool. We've. <laughs> but right now, as Six we five. speak, you're hitting your stardom, and oh. it's so neat to see because there's. Nobody I would rather see mm -hmm. as a young upcoming Latina win than you. Thank you. I so appreciate that. I adore you and I'm so happy to see mm -hmm. what's going on with you. Break it down. You did great. You and Gina did smashing and Philly Brown as sisters, Lupe mm -hmm. and Philly Brown, you murdered it and you Thank got to work you. with my dear friend Jenny Rivera on that. Yes. Which was a very special project mm -hmm. to me because when we all brought that project together knowing that um, Jenny and I actually clowned in this room right here about, dude, Lou Diamond Phillips would be your baby's daddy. And that was a done deal for her. I, it she was, was like, like, La Bamba? For, I for, mean. Right, because for like the Chicano movement and yeah. the, the movement that's important to our heart that you've embraced since you've moved mm -hmm. here from Miami to Cali. I love that yeah. about you because you embrace what's real and culture yeah. and people and authenticity. It's one of your things. That's, that's really important to me because, you know, you just got to be who you are and represent your morals and your principles and ideas and you know people latch on to that like the fake stuff it, it it shines for a minute and then it burns out you know what I mean so you just got to be true to yourself and and um, I recognize it in other people and I recognize that in you and in Edub and I said you know these are these are who I want to roll with <laughs> and so I you know and since Philly Brown we've kind of you know have a friendship now and and it's very very important to me and it's very and real and we've learned real. so yeah. much together and grown so much together and to see you take a project on with a mm -hmm. giant like Disney who has been just I love them because they're so yeah. great to you mm -hmm. and just the experience of seeing the process of such a machine working for you break yeah. that down a little bit well you know Disney kind of has always been really good about like having diversity on their TV shows and stuff and like this is a dream come true for me because I I've been wanting to be the first Hispanic Disney princess forever and I feel like I'm a step closer uh -huh. to that now uh -huh. working with them but it was it was great they were you know I they called two days later I was on a plane going to Puerto Rico for two months and it was just an amazing experience and I I'm it was a big it was more important to me after I had done the research as an actor and like seen all the movies from the past and seen that you know there were no Latinas on the beach in those movies it was like you know it was risky enough that they had two Italians be the leads to that you know uh -huh. and so for me I was like I want to be that I want to represent that for the little girls now to see and be like Mom, I, we were there at that time because I yeah. remember Abuelita's pictures with the beehives like Chi Chi. Like, we existed back then. So, right. for me, it was like it, it was a bigger, bigger deal to be in this movie. And, like, Disney has been so supportive and amazing. And I just love them to pieces. And you're <laughs> such a wonderful role model, wonderful person to carry that kind of torch. Notice I am Team Chi Chi. Oh, biker yes. swag. Team Chi Chi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what's the next step for Chrissy Fit? You know, I I don't know. And that's kind of exciting in itself. Like, I, I want to pursue more music stuff. I want to find my voice in that. Like, that was what I first started doing. I was, like, five years old. And, like, mommy and poppy were like, dale, canta. You know, and I would just go yeah. out and sing it for the family and stuff and dance around. And, and um, you know, that's how I, I went through school with singing and, and stuff. So I want to find kind of my voice in the music aspect. And I want to do more projects that empower Latinas and, you know, give us, break those stereotypes and give us a voice. And so it's now about finding the right material. And like, I love working with Disney and I'll work with them every day all the time. And, but you know, I also want to expand and, and like 
grow and create and and i'm just like excited i'm excited for well and i love it too because disney has such a key like you know in the door where it's like you're the future and you can tell our stories through their machine and what they have to give to the people as far as entertainment and content so that's really exciting i mean the i've i've met so many little girls who have come up to me and are so excited that i could speak spanish like i could speak their language and i could communicate with them with and also that you understood that they speak english and they're at school with their friends and that's how and i love the balance that you bring to that like i represent them because i'm first generation you know american my parents spoke to me spanish at home but i was at school speaking english your mom still calls you with the spanish guilt trip so exactly what they're going through and (laughs) speaking of what they're going through i mean Mm -hmm. the mass amount watching your social media grow through all this has been amazing how do you feel about that on pouring of love you're getting i am like so overwhelmed like i want to just like hug every single follower or like okay good i'm glad you want to hug every single follower because (laughs) i did a little bit of homework last night and i thought i'd do something a little different here all right all right first off i wanted to know if you saw groupon what the, uh teen they have a biker one yes they have a biker one i that, tried to order it but oh i was a little my. too thick to fit in it so i ordered it for the nieces so wanted to make sure That's you amazing. saw that and also um sparkly blue 34 on instagram oh. asked how did you make the voice in the movie like what made you do that voice well it's funny because like my agent for the audition she was like go big just go out there and i was like you don't gotta tell me twice so i just started like Look, I watched a couple of the movies and I noticed like the bikers in those original movies had a New York accent for no reason. And I was like, all right, I'm going to Fran dresser it up, uh, Snooky it up. I'm just going to like throw in a bunch Fran of things. Fran dresser meet Snooky. Okay. Meet Snooky, okay. yeah. And I just, I decided to give her a high pitched voice like this. <laughs> And then like a laugh because like she needed to have a laugh. Uh-huh. And so I went in and it was risky. It was risky. And I didn't know how they were going to take to it. And they loved it. And oh, and so, it stands out in the film. We're yeah. going to have a lot of... Um, at, Lisa Fraga hit me up and said that her daughter was going to dress as Chi-Chi for Oh my God, that uh, would Halloween. be so, so cute. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of those. Now, Sparkly Blue 34. Mm-hmm also asked okay did you and butchie like each other that she was really into this sparkly 34 Mm. was really into this uh (laughs) did you and butchie like each other in the movie or were you dating because you asked for his jacket and that was a cute part oh wait first ask for the jacket ask for the jacket Mm -hmm. ask give me the ask for the butchie i'm cold give me a jacket okay so (laughs) what's the relationship with you and butchie well um to be determined <laughs> okay um but i think you know i think chi chi might have a crush on butchie i think butchie they, was the cutest one on the block oh, i yeah. like him darker yeah, i like yeah, him darker yeah, 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 yeah yeah you do yeah, yeah. um i think that they would be a power couple for sure you yeah. know she yeah. would be the brains he would be the beauty <laughs> yeah and he's then, not too bright in the movie okay love underscore teen underscore beach underscore movie on instagram underscore that's fresh she says you're my fave i love your laugh before you say butchie wants this place for himself oh where you should make which is funny because my mom the laugh is probably my mom called me today and she said greasy my favorite part of the movie is when you say why don't you go to the ocean and wave for me goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I did not say that. <laughs> so, but yes, that's the line I think they're talking about. That 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 is awesome. So give them the laugh. They want the laugh. Oh, the laugh. They it's, want the, the laugh. It, it's you know, there's a science to this laugh. It starts okay. off low and then it peaks. I think maybe only dogs can hear it. Okay. If I go, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> one more time <laughs> one more time one more time exclusive <laughs> exclusive laugh one more time <laughs> nice there we ashley go. underscore rivero underscore said you're one of my role models you're so perfect i love you i think you're the best thing ever Hi, Ashley, thank you. <laughs> That's so sweet. It's unbelievable. It's and crazy. And it's, I mean, this this outpouring of love can go on for days. There was one girl yeah. who, um, I can't find her, her tag right now or her name, but she said that if she could choose any celebrity to meet, it would be you. Oh, my gosh. Well, that makes me so happy just because, like, you want to affect, you know, and help and, like, just well, inspire. Well, you entertain to touch yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole purpose. Like, I... Th- 
when I first started like acting, singing, dancing, and all that stuff, you know, I want I wanted the attention, and <laughs> I'll I'll say that yeah. I wanted the attention. And then you know you learn and you study, and then you fall in love with the craft. And then for me, you know, after that happens, then you kind of have like this like responsibility or, or something. It becomes bigger than just the acting and the stuff. You know how you can inspire other people to also pursue their dreams because, you know, you got to just take that risk. I mean, I took a risk at the audition making that funny voice and that laugh and, and it worked, you know. And you took a risk leaving your family from Miami, yeah. moving out here to California mm -hmm. to pursue your dream and your risk is paying off and I couldn't be prouder. Chrissy mm -hmm. Fit, a.k.a. <laughs> Chi Chi, a.k.a. Lupe. I love her. Adore her up close and personal. Before I let you go, I'm gonna get a yeah. little tough now. Okay. This is the real personal questions. Okay, Ooh. you ready? Can you hang? Can you hang? You okay. might be a little embarrassed on a okay. couple of them. Oh gosh. Okay, favorite okay. brand of shoe. Um, favorite brand of shoe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm. I mean, if I had a choice, I'd be Jimmy Choo, but... Okay, yeah. okay, okay. What about jeans? <laughs> Everybody's got their, their favorite their favorite type of jeans. I love Lucky Brand. Oh, they my God, good. I love Lucky yeah, Brand, especially really when well. I'm at my best. Right now, a little thicker. <laughs> I like my uh, Rockin' Republics from Kohl's. Ooh. The skinny fit, the one with the gold tag. That, nice. That's what I'm rocking right now, but oh, yeah, yeah. In a minute, I'll be sporting my Luckies again. <laughs> um, what about your favorite place to eat? Favorite place to eat is my Tia Su Ying's kitchen. Oh, <laughs> she makes the best make uh, arroz con frijoles, rice and black beans, mm. and bistec empanizado, which is like breaded steak mm. with a little onions, grilled onions, mm. and platanito mm. maduro. Like, oh, so good. Gosh, now I'm hungry. See, si, si. okay. <laughs> when you go to Starbucks, what's your coffee you order? I order usually a grande iced coffee with hazelnut syrup. Oh, that's so gangster. That's mm. awesome. Okay, mm -hmm. and then um, this one I got to get a little more personal here okay. if you could choose any celebrity to take to your next premiere any guy oh gosh and, but it's got to be a celebrity it's got to be somebody that would catch paparazzi's attention okay who would um, it be um i think i would want to take ryan gosling i mean oh i mean why not why not hello, hello. okay so i know chrissy you're you're single and still, he likes correct? guana so that's Ooh, good he does. oh he look at you hello Cuban, so. um can somebody tag him on this hello. tag tag ryan gosling <laughs> okay um you're single correct yeah so what right, is, you know somebody what's well okay, <laughs> i might i might have somebody I, I mean you're already my kids already call you thea chrissy yeah, true, and we gotta true. keep you in the family you're gonna be a big superstar <laughs> what is the ultimate dream guy for chrissy fit hmm he has to be very funny okay and outgoing and go with the flow not jealous okay don't dig that um yeah that's it just like makes me laugh would you I want know, him to be in an entertainment or would you want him to not be in entertainment <sighs> that's rough because sometimes i'm like it's good because they get it but then at the same time it's bad because they get it so um i think like somebody that's still creative maybe like a writer a director photographer something that understands a creative aspect of it but is maybe not an actor because Okay, so all that sounds good, but we're all a little vain. I know how I like my guys when I look at him. So what does Prince Charming look like? Tall, because, you know, i got to give my kids a fighting chance. Right, right. <laughs> um, Hobbit with a cute face. Hobbit That's with you, a cute baby. Face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, tall, dark, handsome. I guess that you don't, can't go wrong saying that. So you're open to any type of it doesn't yeah. matter. No, it doesn't matter to okay. me. Okay. As long as they have that one thing makes you what? laugh. You know? Makes you laugh. Good sense of humor. Yes. Sarcastic. That's, that's the only one that I would ever that would ever give E Dub a run for his money is Adam Sandler. Oh but don't tell anybody. I have I such hots for Adam Sandler. No if he one's wasn't married, this. it would be over. You'll, they'll no, never don't know. Don't tell anybody no. that I love Adam Sandler. <laughs> but I love E Dub more. That's how we do, baby. Up close and personal. <laughs> Chrissy, I am so proud of you. I am so into you. I am so excited to see your journey mm. because it's just starting to see your your writing that you do, your movies that come out, your TV yeah. shows that come out that you write, you personally do, and to also hear your music that you develop and you do. You are a true star, and I'm really excited to go on the Disney journey with you, too, because you belong there. Thank Chrissy you. Fit, thank you for coming, baby. Thank, thank you, for baby. Oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.